guys, it's me Danush and I am back today with another chemo talk. It has been five days since my last chemo and um, I am feeling okay. Uh, chemo number five was completed, meaning I have one chemo left and God willing, we will continue from there on to surgery and everything else. So how do I feel? Well, to be honest with you, I am very tired. I almost didn't want to do this chemo talk today. Uh, but since this is meant to be an inspiring, chi an inspiring channel and it's meant to motivate people, I decided that I would put some makeup on, wrap my head up, and come over here and talk to everybody and tell you how I've been doing and also discuss something important for patients going through chemotherapy. So hopefully anybody else who's watching this and doesn't feel like they're having the best of days, they'll uh, lead by my example and get up off of their feet and take advantage of their moment. So what do I want to talk about today? I had somebody reach out to me and uh, they're currently going through chemo and they asked me if I had any tips on foods that I would recommend that they consider eating because right now they have no appetite and it's very difficult for them to want to eat anything. And uh, this is a very common issue that people who undergo chemotherapy have. Um, in my case, I have a really sore throat, it feels like, and my tongue just feels like it's on fire, like it's been shredded. So to find foods that are appetizing or intriguing, attractive, um, is a little bit difficult. But since I am five chemos in, I do have a little list that I'd like to share for people who are um, starting to go through this process and they don't really know what they want or where to start. I will start by saying that the American Cancer Society and other um, institutes do have a list of foods that they would recommend uh, for patients to consider and uh, they are great foods and some of these foods are probably also on their list. I am not a dietitian. These are just things that I like that have worked for me, and hopefully they will work for you also. Uh, number one thing that I like to eat after chemo is scrambled eggs. Uh, it's easy to digest. It's easy to chew. It goes down smooth. Um, not much work involved. It's a protein, so I like to have scrambled eggs. Uh, something else also is bread and cheese. Uh, Bread and cheese, real simple. It feels like you go back to basics. Chemo almost feels like you're hungover. So you know when you're hungover and you just want to eat something like simple? You either want like super simple or like greasy, right? So um, this is what you feel like. You just want like bread and cheese, like something easy to break down, easy for your stomach to process, not real complicated. And then the greasy part you also would, would bring me to the pizza. Cheese pizza is also something that I tend to like when I'm uh, dealing with the aftermath of chemo. Um, the marinara sauce gives it some flavor, and once again, it's just easy to process for my body. So I uh, do lean towards bread and cheese and pizza as well um, as something to eat after chemo. Uh, something else that I think is nice to eat is uh, cream-based soups. Um, they are coating the throat when they come down. They're easy. You don't have to chew. Um, my whole thing is, is I don't like chewing too much after chemo. So if I can have something that gives me the nutrients I need without really requiring me to do much work, I'm going to I'm gonna eat it. I'm going to try it. So cream-based soups. Um, one would be like a broccoli cheddar or like a tomato bisque, something like that. If you can get veggies in there and maybe have the veggies small enough or mashed enough so that you don't really need to chew it or it doesn't irritate the throat coming down, I would say that would be a great idea. Uh, I have also noticed um, I like to put lemon juice on food sometimes. Sometimes I don't. <laughs> sometimes I like to put some more salt on it. Sometimes I don't. So I know we're pretty un unpredictable, but just to kind of throw out there that we do have some spices that we can toy around with as well to make the food more um, appetizing for us. Uh, spaghetti marinara also is something that I was uh, thinking it would be a good idea. I didn't actually have it, but I think it would be good because the macaroni, if you have it real soft, 
And then you just have some marinara sauce just to give it a little bit of flavor and it would just go down real easily. I think that would be a, another um, option for somebody who is undergoing uh, the aftermath of chemotherapy. Now let's see what kind of desserts sort of things could we have. Uh, yogurts, custards, flan, once again things that don't really require you to chew, slide down and they kind of uh, don't irritate the throat on their way down which is great. Uh, smoothies, uh, smoothies are great you can make them yourself you can buy uh, frozen fruits or you can freeze them yourself and then you can blend them and it can become like an almost a smoothie or like an ice cream so it's just a different way of eating the food and sometimes that coldness will actually make you want to eat it more so a uh, smoothie is great now banana and milk uh, smoothie is really nice it has that coating um, texture that I mentioned that I keep mentioning and also it gives you some nutrients to help your body uh, repair itself um, other smoothie-esque type of drinks is like Insure, Boost, or Gain. Those are great options, especially if you just can't eat anything. Those are meal replacements. It's going to give you everything you need and a real, you know, small amount of liquid. So um, those are great. Uh, one big thing I just thought of is to make sure you pace yourself and to eat small amounts of food at a time. Um, sometimes we get excited because we taste the food and we want to eat it really fast but then what ends up happening is, is we get like crazy belly aches afterwards and then we have to lie down and then we have to deal with the nauseousness and the reflux and all that so I would say pace yourself and eat small amounts of food even if you're excited try and just moderate how your intake because it's going to end up shooting you in the foot at the end if you get too excited so just eat small amounts of food and then take a break and then eat a little bit more and that's really going to help you and your doctor probably gave you something like Zofran or some anti-nausea medication I would definitely recommend taking that also uh, don't wait for the side effects to um, show their rear their ugly head before you take it just as a precaution take it I made that mistake of just taking it once I started to feel like I needed it and by that point I already felt so sick and uh, I'm not somebody who likes to take medications, but uh, during this time, I've realized that no one's trying to be superwoman. And if you need a medication, just take the medication. And if something might happen, just take it. It's not worth it. And then go back to your I don't like medications regime once you're over this whole cancer garbage. All right. Now, let's talk about some fruits and vegetables because I mentioned a lot of other stuff, but nothing real, real healthy. Um, Going back to the whole theme of what I like, I want it to be kind of slimy, smooth, easy to go down, doesn't require a lot of work from my end, um, not for me chewing to not to me processing. So um, avocados, beets, mangoes, pears, kiwi, lychee, all those slimy fruits, love them. They go right down, they give me what I need, and um, I'm happy. So... These are just a few of the things that I think um, would help aid in somebody going through chemotherapy. Hopefully, some of these tips that I gave will help you and your, uh, in your journey. And uh, if you have any ideas, if I missed out on anything that you think could be of purpose or some kind of jewel that I could sh share with everyone else, please feel free to write down below and I will be sure to uh, mention it in my next video. Thanks, guys. Take care.